Nigerian's Independence Day celebration is usually marked on the 1st of October every year and is another day when Nigerians celebrate what has been described as an eventful history for the country. As Nigerians celebrate the second independence anniversary of the country, mixed feelings and expressions of hope are again on the lips of the people who believe that Nigeria will completely win the battle over insecurity and corruption. Addressing Nigerians, President Muhammad Dubari made reference to his 2019 pledge where he had vowed to improve the economy, tackle insecurity and fight corruption, noting that his promise to Nigerians has strengthened his resolve to lift 100 million citizens out of poverty in 10 years. This democracy is to be anchored on a clear understanding of chicken and the principles of separation of powers supported by a reform public service which is more effective. I then pledged to improve the economy, tackle corruption, and fight insecurity. And this was further strengthened by my commitment to lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in 10 years as the central plank of my second term in 2019. Speaking at the Independence Day celebration in Ibadan, the Iyer State capital, Deputy Governor of Iyer State, Adebayo Lawa, said the country has been faced with so many challenges as a nation, which has in turn affected our growth. This is as he talked about some of the achievements of the present administration in the state, despite the daunting challenges. On his part, the Maye Olubadon, Lekon Alabi, however, described as disappointing the fact that Nigeria at 62 years is still faced with different challenges. He added that the country should follow the constitution and practice true federalism. Because this is not the Nigeria that the nationalists fought for. Their vision was a country that will be free in all totality and there will be abundance of peace, progress, unity. Follow the constitution and practice true federalism. Highlights of the celebration in New York State included match pass by different groups, schools and cultural display. Taiwo, Olanwaju, I8TV News.